that was National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby yesterday, still not acknowledging that COVID-19 likely leaked from the Wuhan lab, despite the Energy Department confirming so just this week. Joining me right now is Florida Congressman, member of the House Armed Services and Foreign Affairs Committees, and a former Green Beret and Army National Guard Colonel. Uh, Michael Waltz is here. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much. So we heard from the Energy Department Thanks, on Maria. this. You've talked about this a lot with your colleagues, and yet the White House still unwilling to poke the bear, I guess, of communist China. Yeah, Maria, here's what we know. We know that gain-of-function research was happening uh, in that lab. We know uh, that there were serious concerns about its security protocol. It basically had the same security as a as a dentist office. Uh, we know, thanks to Mike Pompeo, who declassified it, that the Chinese military was also in that lab conducting bio-research, which they have openly talked about using in, uh, using in a global combat campaign and type of environment. Uh, and I guess we're just supposed to believe that it was the world's biggest coincidence that this pandemic emanated right down the street, but not in this lab. So, Maria, what we need to do is get all of our intelligence community members that have looked at this in the same room. Uh, Kevin McCarthy has established a select committee to do just that, because the Democrats over the last several years have had zero, not one hearing dedicated to figuring this out that has devastated our economy, so many lives, set back so many others. Uh, and <laughs> we've got to get to the bottom of it because we don't understand where this came from. We can't prevent the next one. And the last three pandemics have come from China and have been exponentially more deadly every time. It's just really disturbing that uh, the White House is, appears afraid of Xi Jinping walks on eggshells around communist China. And what you said is something I've been repeating many times, the fact that your colleagues, the Democrats, did not have one hearing on the origins of COVID-19. We are three years later. And is there no curiosity as to how this thing started and why one million Americans are dead as a result? Well, what, what's the problem? Are they all being paid off by China? You know, I, I think it, uh, I don't know, Maria, I can't get a straight answer, but because this happened under President Trump, uh, I think that had a lot to do with it from their perspective, and that is sad and frankly disgusting. But, you know, when, when uh, McCarthy established the China task force, Nancy Pelosi pulled her members from it uh, at the last moment saying we're not going to give President Trump an excuse uh, for, for his failings. Uh, and so this should be a bipartisan effort. This should be something that everybody wants to get to the bottom of. And yet, you're right, there's just a total lack of curiosity or interest on the other side. It's inexplicable. I mean, even, I mean, even the FBI comes out, and the FBI is questionably trustworthy. Right. Uh, but even the FBI comes out uh, every week and says China is our number one adversary. China is undermining America, and this is a bad actor. And yet Joe Biden just refuses to say anything negative about communist China. He continues to call them a competitor. Meanwhile, the Foreign Affairs Committee, your committee, holding a hearing this morning on combating the generational challenge of a CCP aggression. The House, uh, the House China Select Committee also holding a hearing on the China threat. Uh, tell me about these hearings and what you're expecting to get out of. Politico is reporting that President Biden is scaling back a planned executive order to regulate U.S. investments in China. Are you buying this? Is this real? Is the administration actually uh, taking the threat as seriously as House Republicans, or is this just uh, smoke and mirrors? Well, fortunately, the, the new Select Committee on China is bipartisan. Uh, I do think we have national security-minded Democrats on that committee that realize we can't, on one hand, uh, afford to keep pouring money uh, into our greatest adversary, which is what our markets are doing, our pension funds are doing, so many businesses, and then on the other hand, sit on the Armed Services Committee and pour money into our own military to try to defend against the very uh, adversary that, that we're assisting. I mean, Karl Marx famously said that capitalists will sell us the rope with which we'll use to hang them. So uh, right. this is, uh, I, I don't know what Biden is getting at with this executive order, uh, but I got to tell you, we are going to shine a spotlight 
on how these companies preach social justice here and then turn a blind eye to gross, disgusting human rights abuses. And it's not just American companies. Yeah. The chief of Volkswagen, the head of Volkswagen, just visited their factory in Xinjiang uh, and said, nothing to see here. I don't see any forced labor. Uh, look, I want everybody to make money, but not when it's aiding our greatest enemy who seeks to destroy us and not when it's ignoring the greatest genocide since World War II. Yeah, in fact, Governor Youngkin uh, answered my question on Sunday when he joined me to talk about Apple and, 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 and uh, you know, uh, Bridgewater, Ray Dalio, all these people who are pretty much, you know, doubling down on China with production or investments. Uh, and he said it's wrong, but we're going we're gonna to play that later. Congressman, I know you gotta, you're introducing a bill that is going to, you're hoping, prevent Chinese-owned private schools in the United States from having junior military programs. Why? Tell me about this. Well, Maria, not only uh, are, are the Chinese Communist Party buying up our farmland, buying up our pharmaceutical supply, influencing our universities through Confucius Institutes. They've also been buying private boarding schools and military schools, including the New York Military Academy that President Trump uh, attended. And at least one of these schools has a junior ROTC program. Uh, this bill would ban any uh, Chinese-owned institution from having an ROTC program We've also asked the Pentagon to further research the extent to which we have ROTC programs in Chinese-owned uh, military academies. Look, at the end of the day, we cannot provide yet another platform uh, for the CCP to use its propaganda on our youth, and in this case, our future military leaders. That's incredible. Wow. Congressman, thanks very much. The CCP has been incredibly strategic in terms of getting inside the gates of America yep. in so many ways. Uh, Michael Waltz, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for your leadership, and we'll be watching your work.